Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to part 12 of my Pop EDM production series in Logic Pro 10. In this video, we're going to wrap up the final edits on the verse vocals, as well as add the pitch correction plugin to certain parts of the verse vocals to give it that auto-tune sound. So the first thing I want to do is render these regions so all of the flex pitch edits we made in the last two videos are rendered into the regions. There's two ways to do this. The first is you can bounce them in place by pressing Control B, but that'll actually render each group of regions to its own track. I want to keep these all on their current tracks. So a better way is to drag over all of these and press J to join them together. And it joins each set of regions per track together and renders in all of those flex pitch edits as well. So I'll hit Create and it'll join each set of regions per track. The reason why I use the marquee tool to get rid of the space between the regions is that the join function will only work when you have two or more regions. It doesn't work with just one region. All right, so now that we have all the regions joined, we can actually turn off flex pitch on the tracks because the flex pitch edits that we did earlier are now rendered into the audio files. Let's solo out the vocal tracks and give this a listen just to double check. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. All right, that works. Now there's a few minor edits, more or less just copy paste edits that I want to make to steal some of the better takes from the doubling track and put them in the lead track. The first is here at measure 27. I promise every night that I will have the problem here is that the lead vocal on the word promise has a bit of a lisp on the S of promise. So we're going to copy and paste the promise from the doubled vocal up to the lead vocal. So using the division snap mode and the marquee tool, I'm just going to drag over that selection, click on it to separate it, pull the doubled vocal temporarily to another track, and flip-flop the two parts. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. Much better. In all honesty, I probably should have corrected these things before we did the vocal tuning, but I just completely forgot to do it, so we're doing it now. Also, the very last word of the entire verse we're going to flip-flop as well. Good. I like the breathy tail of the doubled vocal more so than what the lead vocal was singing. So we're going to flip flop these two parts in a very similar way to what we did earlier. The difference is after we flip flop these, we're going to have to change our snap mode and turn it off so that we can grab the junction point or fader between the regions to edit the trim of both regions simultaneously. This makes sure that we put our edit point right in between the two words and nothing gets cut off by the edit. The next one is at measure 66 where she says, it's 3 a.m. It's 3 a.m. It's 3 a.m. She sounds a little cut off and a little uh, just sort of abrupt in the lead vocal. So we're going to flip flop the lead vocal and the doubled vocal again. Again, using the marquee tool and division snap to flip flop the two clips. It's 3 a.m. I got this feeling. To blend in these edits with crossfades, I'm going to drag over all of the clips. I'm going to go over to the region inspector over here where it says we have 14 clips selected. Go down to More, and it'll show your Fade In and Fade Out options. Choose X from the Fade Out type, which turns it into a crossfade. And type in 8 in the Fade Out length, which creates a crossfade, a very small crossfade of 8 milliseconds. Let's listen to these and make sure there's no pops or clicks in the edits. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. I promise every night I love you like she never could. It's 3 a.m. I got this feeling that we'll never leave. Just tell me everything that you could ever want from me. All good. The next thing I want to do is I want to duplicate the first part of the verse as well as the third part of the verse down to a new track. So I'm going to duplicate the verse lead track. I'll just rename this verse lead straight because the melody's got this really straight sort of melody to it, almost like a one note melody. And the reason why we're doing this is we're going to add the pitch correction plug into this to really give it a more of like the auto tune sound as an intentional effect. And we're splitting the tracks because we don't want that effect on the parts where she's singing with the backing harmony that we created. We also want this phrase from measure 29 to 33 to be down on this uh, verse lead straight track. So we'll pull that down. But the difference here is we're going to have to turn off snap and uh, sort of fine tune our edit points in between words like we did before. In the second verse, we're also going to move down the very first part of the second verse, much like we did 
in the first verse. Again, turning off snap mode and cleaning up our edit points just like we did before. In an earlier video, I mentioned that the reason why the second verse was so short is because at measure 70, we're going to copy and paste the second half of the first verse over to the second verse because they're identical. So I'll get rid of all this extra space between the verses. And then we're going to copy everything in the first verse starting at measure 29. But for this, I need to turn bar snap back on. And I'm also going to make sure my marquee tool is on. Drag over all of this with the marquee tool and basically just hit command C to copy it. And then I'm going to scroll over to measure 70, put the playhead right on measure 70 and make sure that the top track is selected and then press command V to paste this all in place. And there you go. Now we've got to go back in and do some fine edits as well. So I'm going to turn off my bar snap, trim out some of these extra words here. Just delete that one. Pull these out as far as they go. Trim that out in between the two words. Trim out this uh, extra silence up top here. And then on the bottom here, there's one little extra word in there. We'll pull that back and then we're good. Let's give this a listen just to make sure everything's in the right place. Thing that you could ever want from me. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. I promise every night I'll treat you like she always should. You got me going, got me burning, got me going good. I promise every night I love you like she never could. All right, so on these parts that we pulled down, we're going to add the pitch correction plugin, which is under the pitch menu option in the plugin menu. And the song's in B minor, so the scale we're going to choose is the natural minor scale. And then for the root, we're going to change this to B all the way at the bottom. Let's give this a listen as is and make sure that all the notes she's singing are in the key. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. It's 2 a.m. I got you higher than she ever could. In this part, it really sounds like she's only using two notes, A and B. But uh, let's jump over to the next part that we pulled down and give that a listen. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. I promise every night I'll treat you like she always should. So yeah, sounds like there's a few more notes in there that are being used. So after some trial and error with bypassing certain notes and turning certain notes off and pulling down the response time, I found that the words good, could, and good at the tail end of phrases in the first verse and the words should, could and good in the tail end of phrases in the second verse, you know, the parts where she's not really singing, but more or less just speaking those words. I found that these were getting messed up sounding with the pitch correction on them. So off screen, I moved those words back up to the lead verse track so they won't be affected by the pitch correction. Here's a quick example of what it sounded like before I copied and pasted those words back up to the lead verse track. We keep on rolling like a fire like we always should. There's no one else I'd rather be with, but you know I could. Yeah, that sounds awful. I also added a quick fade in and fade out to all of those clips using the region inspector again, just to ensure that there were no faint pops or clicks in the edits as a result. Also, just because I'm really OCD about it, I dragged over all of those clips, hit J and joined them all back together uh, again so I don't have a bunch of little clips all over the place. I also cut out the gap between the two verses as well. Again, just because I'm OCD, it's not required. Let's give this a listen now. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. It's 2 a.m. I got you higher than she ever could. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. I promise every night I'll treat you like she always should. You got me going, got me burning, got me going good. I promise every night I love you like she never could. All right, now that we've got all of our final edits done to the verse vocals, we're finally ready to mix these into the song. In the next video, we'll add EQ, compression, the de-esser plugin, reverb, and an ensemble effect to the verse vocals and mix them into the song. Remember, if you'd like to work along with me, the multi-track session for this song is available for download and purchase via the link in the video description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.